Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, um, I want to remind you once again guys that uh, this is a, a just general reading for Libra star signs and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy as well in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings please check out my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of uh, this video and there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said, going for the tower spread first, now the first card that we do have here or the first position of this four card tower spread is going to resemble to the topic of you Libra's week. The second card that will be about the core of the situation. The third card is uh, regarding the challenges uh, that are causing predicaments for you and the last one that is going to be the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering. So let's see what you have here, shall we? Now, Wheel of Fortune is the topic of the week. A very broad card. In the general sense of interpretation, the Wheel of Fortune is luck. A great amount of luck and also a breakthrough in many cases. Because the Wheel of Fortune often uh, manifests itself as a, a once in a lifetime opportunity, an opportunity which one is given the chance to take, um, uh, but how can I place it, to, to give direction to their life instead of, you know, relying on that the universe is going to direct your life on its own accord. Now, throughout that opportunity, you will have the, op the, the kind of the ability you know to uh, place your own direction and that's why uh, when we talk about the wheel of fortune it is very important to be um, to be prone uh, to mitigate with uh, with surprises because usually as I said manifestation is a, say, a once in a lifetime opportunity but that opportunity happens through a huge amount of chaos that being said, uh, the week could be a little bit unstable uh, regarding relationships or regarding career. You know, things may not go exactly the way you are anticipating and the way um, you are expecting them to go. But in the same time, exactly through that disturbance in the plans, in the, in the performance as well, you know, or the flow of events in general, it is exactly where this, uh, this uh, huge portion of luck and uh, a great opportunity arises. Now, the Wheel of Fortune also could play a, a role of uh, as a um, being unstuck, all right? So a, a huge blockage could be dropped off uh, throughout the duration of the week and also we will allow you a, 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 a kind of like a, a huge portion of, uh, of growth will allow you to do huge portion of growth and uh, the reason why this is happening here with the second card that will be the high priestess so the high priestess is very passive card the high priestess reflects um, our subconscious it does reflect our inner voice it does reflect um, our ability to track patterns without uh, without we memorizing those patterns so uh, what happens here is uh, what I'm trying to say here is is that this is a um, a manifestation of a uh, of a conclusion should I say that way that you have determined for yourself for a quite a while now but for one or another reason it was impossible uh, or you were you found yourself incapable to uh, execute it in the current environment and uh, right now through that chaos which is which is happening well chaos quote in quotes 
because uh, that under chaos you should not accept it as something that will be tremendously um, kind of like disturbing you know and that will have a, a huge negative impact upon one's life I'm using the term chaos of unpredictability so through that unpredictability of the flow of the events it is exactly where the opportunity will arise for you to manifest uh, those conclusions that your subconscious reached and the subconscious of oneself always leads oneself in the right direction here it recognizes the patterns of the universe of one's life and it takes you know always the accurate decision what is important here with the high priestess however Libras is to listen to yourself the only answers the only accurate answers that you can find for yourself is through silence so that being said uh, unfortunately asking for advice is how you uh, how you should approach a certain situation how you should deal with a certain problem etc etc uh, will be most likely futile because even though people with the be with best intentions are try to give you uh, a certain guidance here um, it will not be uh, that guidance will not allow you to actually make a, uh, a flawless performance now the only way to make a flawless performance is to follow your inner voice your inner guidance here basically your instincts is very close to following your instincts now high priestess is not an intuition all right high priestess is the inner voice and the inner wisdom that is very different from int from intuition and in some of uh, my future videos i will explain what is the difference but that is very different from intuition it, it is more close to instincts than intuition so it's very important here to follow your instincts when the opportunity arises your instinct will kick in and you will know that you have to basically grasp yourself in it instead of constantly thinking it through trying to analyze it is good or not etc etc it's just your instinct will tell you this is your time my mate and you have to do something about it so uh, the next card it is a about the challenges that you have to overcome here we do have the chariot card so the chariot card is about a, a premature jump moving on forward that card itself uh, it, it is a, a sign that something will try to hold you down to hold you back not down but back probably a uh, uh, unfinished business you know unresolved issues uh, unfinalized project uh, unspoken words as well if we're talking about relationships etc etc and uh, that will be the, uh, the the problem here Libras to make that premature jump and under premature uh, I don't mean that this is going to be something um, something negative under premature jump I mean that you have to be quite determined to make an improvement in your life to improve your personal circumstances and that can happen only by making as this card comes as a challenge only by making a, a clean cut with the past clean clean break with the past so it's kind of like these cards are speaking for a new direction from a, a different angle you know because or from a new for a new beginning instead of just having the full card we do have these three which are uh, giving us a um, an idea for a new beginning but that new beginning will um, will emerge through a happy coincidence uh, throughout the week that are that are to happen to you and when that happen you should have no regret no doubts and no uh, and no sense of obligation for what it is right now but your your glance should be focused entirely upon the future and the last card <clears throat> that we do have it is the guidance which you should rather follow here we do have the uh, <clears throat> tree of wands and that <coughs> excuse me I, <clears throat> and that card somehow tells that um, what is uh, what is yet to happen I mean this uh, this opportunity here that we are seeing it will come rather challenging or uh, challenging um, in a sense of bit difficult to be uh, to be grasped big bit difficult to be approached and as well to be pushed forward and uh, the tree of wands as a guidance <clears throat> manifest itself as a, um, a point of view and a way of thinking 
and the only way that this card asks you to think is that one improves only through conquering challenges that is why we do have the three of wands and uh, that being said you should seek to improve your personal skills your personal capability your environment into your relationship as well through placing additional challenges through placing new tasks this is uh, this is what i'm trying to say here that be uh, that you have mastered as as much as you could what you are doing right now what you're working upon you know and, and in general how you cope with your daily routine and now the three of wands is saying that it is time that you need to add into it right and by adding into it you have to completely focus upon that addition instead of trying to um, juggle in between what you are doing right now and that new addition as well so your focus should be entirely upon this um, opportunity here a way through that is created through a uh, happy coincidences a chaotic um, <clears throat> chaotic events as well and without much of a thoughts um, should your instinct tells you that uh, this is the thing for you you have to jump into it so that was the uh, tarot reading now let's see what the Lenormand is about to say now the Lenormand is to show us a uh, event Libras that you are uh, either should look forward to or uh, you should try to avoid it so now what we do have that is going to be the birds and the birds are standing for phone call gossips and as well social media then we do have the child now the child stands for petite it stands for um, <clears throat> new beginning it stands for immature and it stands for a, a child and then we do have the um, the mountains the mountains are, st are standing for uh, diversion obstacles delays so what we do have is that a social media or a phone call is going to cause you a, a small and petite delays or predicaments you know or obstacles in general nothing that you cannot overcome <clears throat> all right probably with uh, a, a little bit usage of your um, exceptional skills of communication this uh, this could be resolved straight away it is important here not to get way too emotional about it you know because um, in this kind of cases if you get way too emotional about those predicaments you can make it even uh, even bigger so um, a full application of uh, the song uh, I don't remember exactly the quote here but um, you know don't worry be happy it's uh, <clears throat> when you do have some troubles when you worry you make them doubles so don't worry guys it's just you know try to be rational try to be logical because uh, it is all that it is asked here now you have been emotional I mean by the way this uh, these um, insights from your inner voice and from your inner wisdom are triggered by your emotions but they have placed the prerequisite already and you don't have to anymore rely upon them all right the emotions should be cut off as soon as you embark that new road and from there all should be passion and logic and it is exactly where probably these uh, predicaments here as i said that is going to be a little bit challenging to take on this new uh, exciting enterprise here you know uh, these predicaments will come through a phone call or through social media and you should uh, kind of like think a little bit more logical upon it using your uh, exceptional communication skills there w there should be no problem whatsoever for you to overcome those predicaments so that being said Libras this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th 2018 I hope you enjoyed and you liked it and uh, <clears throat> Again, this was just a general reading for Libra Star Signs, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.